several weeks of being stuck at home and, and having a lot of things happen. Um, so we're going to take you guys along. We are going to hit a couple of little areas on the way to our destination. Um, we're going to try out the new air conditioner and see how that's going to work because today um, with the humidity the real feel is 103 degrees where we're going. So this will be a good test to see how the new air, the, the new air conditioner works. Um, but we're just going to see what we find along the way. We're going to have a little fun and we hope you guys will join us. And one she got a hold on me She's the warmth of the summer, the color of the spring She's the strongest wind, the calmest breeze And one she got a hold on Well, we finally made it to where we're going, and it is pouring rain. And look, you'd think it was on the ocean. There's such big waves. We'll walk out in a little bit when it's not raining it's so bad. You can see it's raining so hard right over there. You can see it hitting the water. I wonder if it's coming this way. So it took us three hours to get here from our home and we got here just in time for the rainstorm. So you'll probably start hearing a little rain on the roof every now and then. It keeps coming in bands. Um, but it's about five o'clock here so we're going to go ahead and start dinner and hopefully by the time we finish eating it will have let up enough for us to go out and explore a little bit. Alright, well, he can start it on the steak. I'm going to start getting the vegetables ready to cook. Whoa, that's a lot of vegetables. Much part more we need. I know it's cheaper to buy it by the head, but it's easier not to have to cut it up. So we're going to do broccoli, and we're going to do the waffle cut. Carrots. Every time we go to cook dinner in here, I am so thankful that we did this design because I have my spot, he has his spot, and we can totally co cook. Co cook. That's a thing, right? Mm -hmm. Extra virgin olive oil. Just a little bit, maybe, maybe a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half. Salt, pepper, in there? Uh, not salt, just pepper. Can you say pepper? A little bit of pepper. Alright, then you just shake, shake, shake. I like this way so much easier. We used to put the olive oil on the pan, but I think the vegetables got too saturated that way for my liking. So now I just do it this way. It's very, very, very little oil. So you actually taste the vegetables better. That's just my way. Alright, lightly olive oil, pepper. We're ready to go. That's a few shakes. Shot hungry. <laughs> Mine's almost done, how about yours? <laughs> I prefer mine to no longer be gooey, please. Alright, there's your vegetables. Branch, which we have um, been to, what is it, our third time? Yeah. This is our third time coming here, and mainly it's because it's the one state park in South Carolina, well, one of two state parks, I think, in South Carolina, where you can actually park right on the water, which is what I really like to do. I, if, if I, you know, down here in South Carolina, anyway, it's really hard to find a good out, you know, in the middle of nowhere boondocking place. I'm sure there are some, and there are some, you know, if you go to um, you know, all the apps that show you where you can park for free, there are some places, but a lot of them are like really close to towns, because I've looked into them, and they're kind of, you know, the party spot for the locals. 
So when we are uh, going out around South Carolina, it's easier for us to just stay in the state parks. We have electric hookup, we have water hookup. So like today, we're not using our propane cooker, we're using a uh, plug-in, what do you call that thing? Electric griddle. Yeah, electric griddle. So, you know, it has its perks. Um, but I really like this one in particular. This is probably my ultimate favorite campground in South Carolina because like I said, first of all, almost every camping spot in the whole park, almost the majority of them are right on the water. They're bigger camp spots. So for the most part, you're a little bit further away from the other people, which I like because it gives you more of that privacy feel. And you can swim, usually, when it's not, when it doesn't look like an ocean out there. You surf. <laughs> yeah, today you could probably surf. surf. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to finish cooking our dinner and then we'll get back to you in a little bit. So one of the things I was looking forward to doing while we were here this weekend was figuring out how well this air conditioner worked in the bus. Um, like I said earlier, it's supposed to be 103 today with a heat index. I don't know what it is, but it's nowhere near 90 outside. Because like I said, as soon as we got here, the storm came in. So I don't know what it's going to do. It's not a good day to test it. Um, right now it's showing the temperature in here is 80 degrees. So that's really nice. It's blowing nice and cold. We've got it piped out the window. Um, I will say though, definitely for next time, we need to put an isolating fan right here. Isolating. Isolating fan. Isolating. Isolating. It isolates the air over there, yep. then it isolates the air over there. <laughs> this is the thing with us. It is an isolating fan. Oscillating. <laughs> Oscillating. We need to buy us one of those fans. It sits right here, so it will it will help blow the air around. Because right now it's really cool right here, but if you go into the bathroom, it's very hot. If you step up to the front of the bus, it's very hot. So that's definitely something we need to do. So I guess we need to take another trip to figure out in true South Carolina summer heat how it's going to do. Also, what? <laughs> that was on purpose. We'll also probably bent that through the floor, so it's not it's not the most efficient going through the one deck. You don't like this beautiful this beautiful monstrosity right here? A lot of heat. That's Feel true. it. And you know, there's only so much packing tape will do for insulation. Dinner is served. My well, I've been snacking on mine. And that's Randy's. Cleanup was a breeze. Now we're going to eat our food and then we're gonna go explore. Okay. It finally stopped raining. Let's go down and see what the water looks like. Is it cold? Yeah. Is it muddy? Yeah. Okay, so um, one of the things I wanted to mention in this video, because I keep forgetting, is um, if you look down in the description of this video, we do have a website, we do have Instagram, and just this week I created us a Facebook page. And I would suggest if you don't follow us anywhere else, follow us on Facebook because on Facebook it shows all of our Instagram pictures and it shows a notice whenever we put up a new video. So if you want to see everything for one stop, please go visit us and, um, and join our, our Facebook page. But all of the links to that are in the description in the bottom of this video. So, so we were just sitting down to a board game and the sun came out. So let's go out and see how pretty the sun looks on the water. When I bring you up to my lips, it's always more than just a kiss. And my head spins when I'm with you, till I can't stand in my own shoes. I keep you around, cause I can't put you down.
So you beat me bad last time. I don't know, this is a pretty strong hand for me. And while we are playing, we are watching the sun slowly setting on the water. Can y'all see that? So that's what we're doing right now. When the sun gets a little lower, we'll go out and take some take some video, but for right now, I'm going to school him in cars. Yeah. We got so into our card game, we almost missed the sunset. Okay, now that we've seen the sunset, we're gonna go back in and I'm gonna kick Randy's butt in cards. I won last time you said that. Who won last time? I won, last time you said you better kick my butt, you chop the camera and the next hand I cleaned the table. And then what happened in the next one after Beat that? Beat me bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say? Beat me bad. I'm sorry, one more time? Yeah, one more time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, that's one good thing about this step. It's a good place to put our feet. Look how dirty it is already. Holy cow. That's the red clay. Alright. Bad weather at home. Is it? Yeah. We turned some lights on in here. Huh? We turned some lights on in here. Okay. I had a good little rally, but it didn't put a dent in this stack. It just cleaned all these up. Alright, well, I'm gonna put you guys down and we're gonna get back to our cards. Alright, so two questions. Sure. Question number one mm -hmm. How long ago did we just come in from looking at the sunset? Uh, 45 minutes. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> 45 seconds. And um, what happened in those 45 seconds? In one move, you won the game. I won the game. Bam! Drop the mic. You came to see me drop the mic. Drop the mic. She's she's <laughs> always the dealer and always the one that shuffles. So that's by your choice. It's a good thing. By uh, your choice. Good thing she gets nothing but skip bows and a whole deck. Huh. All, All right. right, we're gonna take a it. break and enjoy the view, which is still very pretty. All right, guys. It's uh, now later in the evening so we're going to convert this uh, futon down to our sleeping arrangement. My glasses on that are put together with super glue <laughs> super glue glasses um, and so we haven't had breakfast yet but Randy's outside enjoying this beautiful morning so let's go out and see what he's up to Wow it's a beautiful morning horrible storms last night. How clear the water is today. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Seven. So here's the update on the air conditioner from last night. Good news is when it was working, it was really cold. I slept really good. How did you sleep? Good? Um, the problem was, I guess, I don't know if it was because we bought a cheaper model and maybe it's a little bit defective, or if it's just the fact that the humidity here is so much worse, but twice in the middle of the night, the um, humidity, what do you call that thing? The drip pan. The drip pan where it collects the humidity and puts it in, filled up and the AC cut off. And I woke up to it being pretty warm and I had to wake Randy up and he had to get up and, and let the water out and then it would start back up. So definitely we're going to have to figure out how to let it uh, drip through the floor of the bus so that doesn't happen. Um, but other than that, it was really nice and right now it's plenty cool in there. It's kind of getting warm out here. I think parking in the shade and using the, um, the, the blackout curtains uh, along with the AC is really what it's going to take to make it comfortable, but I think it's totally doable. So um, we're getting ready to head home here in a little bit and we have um, quite a few things we want to try to do on the bus over the next two weeks before we go again. And then we're going to make another trip and we've yet to decide whether we want to go south into Florida and do some beaches or whether we want to go um, up to um, some northeastern states. We've not really done a whole lot of traveling up that way. So um, I really don't know what there is to see, so that would be kind of fun. Um, so we're kind of back and forth on where we want to go. So hey, if you guys have a request, would you rather see, would you rather come along with us to go down to Florida to the beaches, maybe do some snorkeling and stuff? Or would you rather go up kind of, well maybe not all the way up New England way, but up West Virginia, Virginia, up North Carolina, up that way? Um, let us know in the comments and maybe you can help us decide where our next trip's going to be. But I think we're going to leave you here for now and we're going to um, start packing up and get on the road to head home. Um, but thanks for joining us and uh, like I said, leave us a comment and let us know where you'd like us to go next, north or south. And um, visit us on Facebook if you haven't and we'll see you again next Saturday. Bye.